with Farmhouse Living and I have some friends here. And actually, you met Joanna last week, which is technically this hey, you're week. You're not even in the thing. But <laughs> <laughs> so you met her, we, we toured her home and she we called it the Artsy Farmhouse, which makes sense because you are just so creative, so artsy, and we loved it so much that we wanted to take the design and put it in Maddie's house. Yeah. And do a tutorial on how to do a DIY hand-painted wallpaper, I guess we would call it, which the reason I love it is because wallpaper is really challenging to remove. You can just paint over this. Mm -hmm. Wallpaper can, can be, be really very expensive. So yeah. So I think I measured out in my laundry room, it's gonna be like $800. Yeah. So, so. so the pro overall is this is gonna be cheaper, this is gonna be easier to cover up if you get sick of it, because sometimes bold designs, you know, they only have, yeah. they expire at some point, and then it's just uniquely you. I mean, you can be inspired, yeah. but it's like the brush strokes are uniquely you. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna learn how to do that today. Joanna's gonna teach us. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna start with our supplies. What do we need for this project? It's very, very simple. You need a pencil, an eraser, some type of ruler. Yardstick is preferable, but if you have a small space, it's kind of hard to use a yardstick sometimes. Yeah. So I also have just a regular ruler. Um, we need some paint and a paintbrush. Talk about very cheap. Yeah. It's a very cheap project. So easy to convince the husband, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, he won't care. <laughs> Four dollars, probably. Yeah. Probably. So um, let's talk about the about the design. We were inspired by the Copper Corners um, print design today. I'm like obsessed. Yeah, it's awesome. And so Joanna did this design in your master bedroom. I did. And it looks amazing. You like did a gallery wall with vintage finds with it. It just, I mean, modern it so vintage, cool. it's so good. Yeah, it just dressed it up just a little bit. Yeah. It needed something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. This is what you changed it a, a tad bit, yeah, just so it's a little uniquely. Yes, we don't want to copy exactly. Yeah. So um, her design. So we were inspired by her design to make another. Design. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what we're gonna do on the wall. Yeah. So let's get. Some, well, first step, we just cleaned the walls, or you cleaned the walls while Maddie put her I, makeup on. I <laughs> did clean, but it wasn't clean enough, yeah. so then they clean, so. Well, and why don't you preface this before and telling them that you just DIY'd Wayne's cutting. Yeah, I did, so, and I have some of the videos, but super simple, I don't know the words, I think they're two by twos, I think, <laughs> and I basically just put them in the laundry room, and yeah. I just measured, going this way and then down. And, and she was, was like, she called me and she's like, she I'm so impressed with myself. <laughs> yeah, cause my, the guy that did my kitchen, his tools were here and I asked if I could use his tools and for him to teach me how to just cut wood and that was it and yeah. nail done. It was like the easiest thing ever. Yeah, so. So I'm like a real carpenter. <laughs> no, so, so we're only doing above the wainscoting so it's gonna be a pretty simple, easy project. Mm -hmm. So if you're afraid to take the risk um, for a whole wall, you could do mm -hmm. the DIY Wayne's cutting. Follow Maddie at Rustic Vivo Designs on Instagram. Message her and ask her how she did it because if she can do it, you can do guys, it. Guys, if she did it, you can Literally, do it. Literally, you can. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Something important, I think, when you are starting this project is you want to walk into your room and see where your eye kind of naturally goes. Because for me, when I walk in this laundry room, the thing that I see first off is your window. Okay. So that's why when I start, I'm going to start in the middle of her window because that's just kind of naturally where it just makes sense that okay. it's going to be. Um, everything else, um, you may only have a half of a pattern over here. Okay. And that's okay. It just looks natural. Um, so just start with whatever visually um, looks good. So that's why I'm going to start right here in the middle of this window. Okay. Um, also, what I'm thinking about is you want to think about the space you're working with. Um, you're going to think about how many of your pattern um, is going to be repeated. If we were doing this wall top to bottom, I would probably have at least three layers, three. Um, Going down. Yeah. So there will be a pattern here, here, and one down there. 
um, for the way we're doing this, I'm just gonna have one. So it's gonna be a large pattern that goes from here to here. So the weird thing about starting here is, this is only half of it. So you gotta just kinda think about those things visually um, when you're starting. Okay. So, okay. So I have the middle here, and I have my little cheat sheet that I'm doing right there. Yes, you can pack the any of it, all that. Okay. So basically I'm gonna start with my pencil, and I'm just going to, it's kinda of hard to see in here. I'm just gonna come up here, around the middle, and I'm gonna start drawing. And pencils are erasable. Yeah, it's wonderful, isn't it? I want it to be big. Yeah, I love it already. It doesn't have to be perfect. I love it. <laughs> She's you know, amazing. It's just, it's just like real random here, so. Okay, so I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want my next pattern to start. Okay. Because I kind of want it to, kind of want it to be a little bit on this wall and this wall. Oh, I love wall. that. Yeah. So I don't want it spaced too far apart, or else it's kind of like, I don't know, it's not enough. Okay, so I'm making a mark here where I'm going to kind of start the next one. And I also want, so this is, okay, and then I also want to know, this is where I really should have brought my yard stick, it's going to drive me crazy. Okay, we're done. We're done, we're done. we've penciled it. With the pencil. All right, let's do it. Nobody cares that that little thing is not perfect. perfect. It's supposed to be hand painted little whimsical yeah so it's it's not a big deal mm -hmm. i can get over it it hasn't taken very long at all like i feel like the brush strokes are kind of what makes it look unique and special mm -hmm. and that's my favorite part so I was, I was hoping you wouldn't ask to like fill them in because i love it you like it no i love it It's kind of on mine. I forgot one thing, and I was like, "Should I go back and do it?" And I'm like, "No," because mm -mm. it's still it's another thing that's like it's a right? yeah. <laughs> it's a unique to you. Unique. Yeah. Overall, it was pretty easy. I think even though I didn't do it, it looked really easy. It took <laughs> like. <laughs> It took, how long do you think we were? Like, uh, if you were to start and stop, I would say an, an hour. hour. Yeah. yeah, it was really fast. Really yeah. fast. It depends on your confidence when you're painting it. And a lot of times you'll get faster as you go because yeah. you kind of figure out what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. And, and it'll be faster. Yeah, and my favorite part is that it's not perfect. That each design is a little bit different mm -hmm. and also the, the brush strokes are not one smooth. Yeah. So it's awesome. Yeah, well, it looks awesome. so I'll leave more detailed instructions on the blog. Also, you can tour Joanna's home. It's the best home tour. Seriously. And she has done some really creative things like this in her home. So make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And all the things. <laughs> Bye, guys.